Yo, what's cracking? Epic Gamers, welcome back to another Fortnite video. Oh god. Actually, I only just realised that. They've got the, um, those are the, um, the, um, ATO thingamabobs, are they not? Anyway. Uh, <laughs> oh, we're on the uh, sand patch grade today in a Bakerloo line train. Don't ask why, please. Please don't ask why. Uh, Metro Link, because why not? Go Transit. Why don't you? Yeah, because we're just doing Go Transit today. Uh, all right. That's such a bad intro. Uh, anyway, I've, I've got the train pretty much turned on so we can just head over to Heinemann. Good stuff. Look at this. Love the 72 stock. Stick it in Shump for now. So yeah, we're uh, driving the Bakerloo line. Trade 72 stock in a Go Transit Metro Link delivery uh, on Sand Patch Grade because I thought, why not? Screw it. There's a lot of fish, fish plates. They're called fish plates, right? Except they don't show up. Whatever. Be nice if we could get a speed increase. You know what? About that. Actually, I've got a get all the points set correctly, don't I? Um, that's good, that's good. Um, coming around here. Coming around here, that's all good. Yeah, no, we're all good. All good in the hood. We'll keep it in shunt. Should be alright. Boy, do I like this. Let's get the drop light. Drop light. Drop light. Interlock. Cut out. Open the window. Uh, brilliant. You know what? Screw it. Let's go some speed. Try and get some speed going. It's the wiper. I hope I've left that in park. Yeah. Nice. All right. There's 26. Yes. I'm not I'm not going for points on this. It's purely for jokes. What's that? Can't be right. Can't be a 40 minute. Is it? No, it's not. It's bollocks to that 40. It must be the outside. The um through tracks. Yeah, it is. Where's the... Oh, that's the station. Okay. We'll pass there, sure enough. Soon enough. Okay. All of these points. We're motoring through here. Whether or not the train will cope on the gradient. That's another thing. But we'll focus on that problem when we get to it. Uh, but yeah, we're going up to Heinemann, which is basically just at the end of this long straight bit where we can go speedy mode. And go pretty much very speedy mode. But yeah. I mean, aside from the power problems, if this was a diesel train, it could operate here. It, there's nothing wrong with the loading gauge. If they got a D train, it would work here. It would work here fine. Look at this train, though. I love the 72 stock. I think you guys do too. Look at that. Get some super elevation in there. Oh no. Good stuff. Good stuff, lads. Yes, and I said I'd do some American stuff, but I, this isn't properly American. In the last episode, I said, oh, I'd do some American stuff. There's American stuff coming on its way. Just chill out. I've got plenty of BNSF, and plenty of CN, and plenty of... What else do I have? Santa Fe. All kinds of beautiful stuff that you can have a nibble on in, like, a few videos time. But that's fine. But what we're doing now is this. Because this is nice. And I like this. And it's 72 stock. Which makes it much better. I feel like we might be taking this a little bit hot. But whatever. It's got a whistle board. Oh, here's Heinemann Station. Any collectibles here? I feel like that is. But... Uh, 
really carry them. Pick up point. Oh no, it's not. It's Cumberland. Got okay, it's a fantastic infrastructure here. Got to congratulate Amtrak with their continued support of local infrastructure. Joke. Amtrak doesn't know what infrastructure is half the time. Oh god, this will be tight. Oh, this will be. This will be interesting. Breathe in. Oh, it's a tube train. It can handle anything. Did you say tube train? It can do anything. Good stuff, lads. Good stuff. We're accelerating even now. Hang. I didn't think this would be possible in a tube train, but no, whatever. Whatever. Who knows what's possible in a tube train? Who knows? That's the brake test. Run back. Run back protection isolate. Run back protection test. Don't need any of that. Are we? Yeah, we're de we're decelerating. That's that's brilliant. Okay, that's amazing. It's amazing. It might not last much longer. But whatever. That's amazing. It's brilliant. <sighs> might not last long at all. This bodes well. Although it looks like the grade's flattening out a little bit. It should be able to go pick up a little bit of speed. I don't know. But yeah, this is good enough for now. Good enough for now. Look at that. Does this rock have physics? It doesn't up here. Let's get a fly past. Love a good fly past. I remember when I got this route. I remember seeing all the pre release stuff. Well, actually, I didn't play it much because I thought it was very boring. Let's wait for the whistle to come in. Listen to that. I heard that quite a few times on the old intro. And now it's just the um, Erosa squeal, shall we say. Yeah, that squeal. Oh, it's not very nice, not very pleasant. You know, what can you do? Anyway, uh, I'm going insane. So yeah, we're going to uh, Hyman today. And it's still nine miles away, but whatever. Yeah. We're actually pretty much travelling virtually the entire length of the Bakerloo line, almost. In fact, I think it's even longer than the whole length of the Bakerloo line without stopping, going at, like pushing this train to its absolute limit, and we'll see how fast it takes. Yeah, that's ten miles. You've got all of this to go. Like, squiggles all over. And uh, LGV Med's even longer, but it only takes half an hour to get through. Uh, uh, what can you do? Well, you know, in a second, we can, the speed limit will go up, so we won't be speeding anymore, but we still have to stay at this speed, don't we? Remember when this game came out? Uh, yeah. When the game came out? And I was rushing to make a video on it. And then I made... I mean, I did the Bakerloo line first, because that was what I was super hyped about. And then I did Colnarkin, because I was pretty hyped about that. And then I did Sandpatch Grade, because I didn't really think it was going to be that interesting. You know, Sandpatch Grade's a nice route. You know, sometimes I play it just when I've had enough, and I just want to sit down and chill out. Although now that's mostly been... That role has mostly been replaced by the Erosa line. Which, in most regards, is nicer. Nicer scenery. Nicer trains. Bloody speed set. It's all very nice. Listen to that noise. Unmistakable sound of the Berkeley lane. We are losing speed, though. And I feel like that might be an issue. This is quite a gradient. This train's not brilliant going up gradient. It has to be... What on earth is going on with the scenery? Did someone grab the scenery brush and, like, accident accidentally turn it to maximum strength depression? 
What in the world? Right. Okay, we can go up to 75 after this. Oh well. Wow, speed limit's up to like 7, 80 miles an hour. Wow, I wish we could go up to 80 miles an hour. Wow, but like we're losing speed rapidly. Wow. This looks like it'll get an hour. I was about to say, let's go and have a look at what's happening, but there's a bloody dead man's handle. If I get up and then press it down manually, do you reckon it'll last? Dead man's handle pressed. Oh, it does work. Amazing. Okay, so we're still going to move. Nice. Yeah, I think we're a little bit out of place. I'm going to turn the passenger lights on. Hang on. Passenger lights. On. Look at that. Passenger emergency alarm. Lift flap and pull handle. Bakerloo. I don't think we're going to be anywhere here. Harren, Wheelstone, Kenton, South Kenton, North Wembley, Wembley Central, Stonebridge Park. I'm not going to list all of them. It is a nice line. I've even got a bit of. I've even got put the stickers on. Okay. A Central London tube map. I actually see the terminus of the Bakerloo line there. Oh god, I haven't seen one of these in a while. This is actually the updated map. Hey, this isn't a super outdated one. They've got the. I know it's the white one because they've got the weird hump in the Jubilee line and Metropolitans there were usually it, previously it just went straight through yeah what can you do it's pretty neat uh, any other stickers I've got more Bakerloo line items trapped in the doors cause delays please keep your belongings and clothing clear off the doors oh I remember riding on one of these after getting a blood test that wasn't fun uh, very nice, very nice tube map. J'aime mon map de tube. Another central London tube map. Can we walk between here? 80 pound penalty fare or prosecution if you fail to show uh, on demand a ticket validated smart card or other travel authority valid for the whole of your journey. I thought it was a thousand pounds maximum, like three months in or three months in prison. Uh, let's go check out the cab in the middle of the train. Let us go check that out. It is here. It is here. This is a weird cab. I kind of like it though. It's the, they've removed most of the stuff. And they've like. Anything we can play with is the cab light, and that's not even animated. I mean, the selector switch and padded up the door. That still works. I guess if push comes to shove, you could probably still drive from this end, but you just shouldn't. Because like, they've still got all of the stuff there, and they've got rid of the destination board. And that's a door that actually opens. Wow, look at that. Yeah, we'll get out of there. Oh god, game, come back. Might be a little bit overwhelming with moving around and stuff. Oh, here we go, on the curve. That's quite nasty. I wonder what our speed is. I mean, we haven't stopped. The dead man's handle mustn't have come on. We probably lost a few miles an hour when it did. Oh, we're still at 53. That's nice. Oh no, the bad, 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 bad. Good. Jesus. Okay, that, was, that could have gone very badly. Oh, the speed limit here is only 55. Okay. C'est intéressant, non? Whistle board! Makes a lot of sense in this train to have a whistle board. Bloody hell, game, come back! Yeah, it makes a lot of sense to have a whistle board. Okay, there's another whistle board. Good stuff. Railroad crossing, two tracks. You would never know from just looking, using your eyes, which you have in the front of your head, 
because you're a human being, and if they don't work, you wouldn't be able to read the thing that said two tracks anyway. <sighs> people these days. Bloody people these days. Anything else we can play with? What's that? PEA. Mute. Audible warning valve reset. Closed station, cancel, enter, program, test, off peak. Be so nice if we could use that and the radio as well. Be so nice. So nice. Now I wonder what the train display is saying. Nothing good at all. I can't remember, did they actually show anything? Cannot remember. That's a calling on light, right? And then... Okay. Frame rate, come back. Come back, that's right. That's the good stuff. 3.4 miles to go. Three point two miles to go. I mean, we're not going slowly, but we could be going faster. Could be going faster. There's a hint, train. Why don't you speed up, you slow bastard? Come back, game. Come back, honestly. Why did you leave me? Why did you leave me? Should we make the indicator show a complete joke? Should we say like we're going to? Where are we going to? We're going to Waterloo. There. Good stuff. Now I've always wanted to know where the um like the tripcock actually what it actually collides with. Is it like that thing? Turn the hard back on. Is it that? Or like where is it? Is it on the other side? I think it is on the other side. I know these interact some have something to do with the trip cocks, but I don't actually know what. And I know they're the shoes. Like, it must be like that thing then. Like, maybe, would it be that? No, it wouldn't be that. Do they, or do or all the bogeys have one of them? Oh, I think they do. Yes, yeah, so it can't be that. Oh, who knows. Whatever. I'm coming up on a, uh, a yellow. It's probably just because there's so little signals through here. That's a yellow green, so why does it show yellow red? Or does that still show yellow green? No, it shows double red. Good stuff. Point six miles. Cracking down. Cracking down and stuff. Should have probably said this earlier. Uh, yeah, yeah, what should I have said earlier? Oh yeah, that. So plug the subscriptions. So yeah, if you have enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe. And uh, if you are already subscribed, make sure you like. Because it makes YouTube think the video is good. And of course it's good, because I made it. And that's some shameless self-promotion. Yeah, and it, it only takes a second and it's free, and you can change your mind. And it makes YouTube promote it, promote the video to more people like you. And I'm trying to get to a sub goal of 500 subs by, like, next week. Yeah. Because I'm recording this. I'm, we might have already got to 500 subs. Probably not. May have already got to 500 subs by the time this comes out. Hopefully we will have. We might not have. Bloody hell. Less than a mile to go. Look at that. Yeah, if that's less than a mile. No idea what like uh oh, this route's very long. I think it's about no, I'll get it up on the wiki. 
because the speed of this train is going at will be able to, and the way the rate at which it slows down, could probably hang on to this for a while. I go to actually no, I won't. I think it's like a hundred kilometers maybe. Oh god, game, come back! I think it is about a hundred kilometers. Coding overload. You don't say. You just dropped to like five FPS then. Seems a little bit strange to be coming up at 50, but I think we'll be able to survive. At like 200 yards, I'm going to go max break. See what happens. Off and release. Where's 200? Where's 200? Where's 200? There it is. There's max break. Yeah, easy dubs. Easy peasy. Get us their miles in advance. Look at that. Is that going to count us for stopping? Yes, it is. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. You can see here where I accidentally turned the dead man's saddle on. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye.